are we doing here? We could take that airbase. I think we should take that airbase. That airbase is a very nice airbase. I've seen many airbases like it, but that one's going to be mine. Except you just lost that fight. Oh, they're not going to reinforce it. That's nice of them. Go on, take me that airbase. Oh, they guarded it. Obviously, they understood how much of a nice airbase it was. And decided to send some men there. There we go, it's my airbase now. Let's move my aeroplanes to there. We get much better coverage. And also factories. Uh, wow, five more factories. I should really pause when I'm planning this stuff. Get one of you, get you. One more of you. And then some more tactical bombers, because I actually want to bomb some stuff. And that is going to require that I stop importing quite so much steel. And import a bunch more aluminium from the Caribbean. Well, all right then. And also some oil. Who's got some oil? Pacific States, you sound like a nice group. We'll buy it from you. Whoops, no, not, not 160. Just eight. Thank you. Marvellous. And Japan's going, please, for the love of God, join us. We don't want to die. We're too young to die. What the devil is going on here? You eleven. Oh, I see. You've you've taken that bit of Baratia out. Ah, lovely. Well, I'm going to cancel your orders, and I'm going to tell you just to to go and sit here. You can go and join them. You guys just train. In fact, I'm going to give you this southern area. You can start getting some planning preparation at the very least. You can take that. So that one unit which I gave away. Ah, you're still training. Uh, not train. It's fine. Alright, another factory which we're going to give to the fighters. Thank you, Jason. What episodes will this stream be? These will be the episodes as determined when I cut them up. <laughs> Thank you, McCullough. So it will be episodes... Oh dear. No, that's just going to fall over. Ah, here we go. Uh, eight onwards. So as of tomorrow, probably. Alright, it is June 42. I have fallen behind a little bit. Because I wanted the planes and things, which actually is it's fine. Ah, we've taken that. Alright, Tibet, you should be falling. Why are you not falling? Damn it, Tibet. Oh man. Just take stuff. No, 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 keep taking stuff. I don't remember telling you lot to attack. I remember telling you lot to go. I thought I specifically said not for you guys to attack. So stop. Whoops. That's what I meant. Oh, for Pete's sake. You. I'm trying to select you. Hello. There you are. I want you in there. And I want you. No. You. There you go. To attack that. Go. Except for you guys. Oh, bollocks, you were actually doing the right thing. You are going that way. You. Which one of you has got furthest? Not you. You go that way. Then this line, I'm just going to delete you. And hopefully that's not going to bite me in the rear. Because that would suck. Alright, 1942. We can't get that one yet. We could start working on some of the tanks. These are also 42s. Field hospitals would be awesome. So let's do that. They should add an option for army. Just take stuff, please. Yeah, I'm not answering that, Fenris. <laughs> a twit is a fool.
Can you please surrender? Both of you. This is getting ridiculous. How is your training? It's still ongoing. Ugh. I have, I've taken Wesiang. It's, it's not my capital, it's their capital. Oh, for Pete's sake. Why have they not died yet? Why are they not guarding Calcutta? They are guarding Calcutta, that's unfortunate. No, no, no. Yes, yes. No, yes. Alright, fine. If you want to be foolish, I will allow you to be foolish. Why are you attacking from over there? I've clearly selected that unit. No. Ah! Bah humbug. Alright, if they're going to be doing that job, then you lot just join. It's the same line. It's irrelevant. Fine, whatever. They've taken their capital back. No, they've taken Bhutan's capital back. Oh, come on. This is just becoming a pain now. Why is Tibet not capitulated yet? Right, you guys are almost, in fact, screw this. Stop training, wait for your organization to recover, attack, take out the commune, considering they're so close. Then we can turn our entire wrath against Tibet and also train you guys. Right, go. Just 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 finish them, please. Please just finish them. This has gone on for long enough. Put them out of their misery. Alright, that's that bit almost gone. You two attack here, then Calcutta. Alright, that is the other aeroplane. Awesome. So, we have now caught up. Wow, we are apparently very low on artillery right now. And also, you lot can all upgrade. Oh shit, no crap. I just lost all of your production efficiency. That is irritating. And I need a bunch more steel. Which Japan cannot offer me anymore. I don't want to buy from the kingdom because that's Germany, AUS, possibly. Ah, Pacific States, here we go. And we are now getting too much aluminium, but that's mostly because we're not producing all the planes right now. Because reasons. Kill them. They've lost a million now. Right. Guys, yes, we are marching on Calcutta. We've beaten the. There we go. Midnight tonight. Must be. Please, for goodness sake, please. <sighs> Flipping finally. Alright. We have taken it. At last. The Kingdom of Siam is looking rather more auspicious at this point. <sighs> also, Tibet is falling. Like, seriously, how much more... Right, Tibet is on the verge of capitulation as well. I don't know how they are still alive, but apparently they are. You, 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 you. Here, you, train. You, you, here, you are on moving already. Good. Fate of Bataan. Continue the occupation. Fate of Burma. Occupy them.
Because I'm being told that you want the world painted because I am, so I will. Tunisia declared we're on French Republic. Oh, they're tiny. Kind of curious to see how the French Republic here in France actually does. And it looks like it's now going to be the Entente Navy versus the German Navy. The German Navy has taken a bit of a beating. But nowhere near as much of a beating as the Entente fleet. So actually at this point, I would not be at all surprised if the Japanese fleet is the strongest in the world. Yeah, it is. So we've got the strongest navy. We will have naval superiority should we ever go up against Germany, which is going to be extremely helpful because it means that we can take over Indonesia and Vietnam, like, unresisted. Did I just add? Yeah, I just totally added the whole uh, lot. What I was trying to do was select these three and add them to that. There you go. Pray so I am, finally. Is the commune the strongest of the three Indias? Individually, yes, but considering the dominions in the Entente, I would agree that the dominion is probably the stronger, ultimately. And, oh wow, we got a bunch of factories now. And Tibet. Well, I did say that Tibet was going to go to Fentiang. So I'm going to select myself and then pass. Pass, 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 pass. Just to get all the points. Remember, I am playing with player-led conferences. I was going to give this all to Fentiang. To bet Fentiang, give all states. End turn. Done. Right, that is now all Fentiang. So Fentiang is quite significantly stronger with a bunch more population. Wait, was this core? Yeah, it was all core. Yeah, that was right. Um, so that also opens up another line down, another border down here. So I think I am pretty much ready to join the war. So I'm going to be holding this front, which is going to suck because the infrastructure is going to be atrocious. And it's going to be allied infrastructure, which they never build. Oh, shit. I might just let them take it back again. Yes, I am indeed a twit for doing that one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to let them take over that southern Fentiang area. I'm going to pull my own forces back, let them take it, and then I'm just going to reoccupy it myself. Because they do not deserve to be in charge. Except they're allied, so that might not work. All right. New tactical bomber. Sounds good. Unfortunately, production efficiencies of everything is still recovering. Reload, safe scum. Yeah. It's just really irritating. I, I really, like, of all the things this game needs is the ability to build infrastructure in allied territory. I mean, it, it only benefits them. Because they're not going to do it. But also, I, I want them to have the core territory so they can just have unlimited manpower. The hell the hell do you have only 143,000? What the actual hell? Oh, because you lost that bit. And that's like... A quarter of the Chinese population or something crazy. <sighs> I'm going to leave it to Fentiang. And I'm going to hope that Japan loses this war. I'm not going to join it. And then I'm going to puppet Fentiang. Is that going to work? No, it won't work either. <sighs> Ching's going to grab it when Fentiang falls. Oh. 
I'm legit not sure what I... Like, even safe's coming. This, this is not the outcome I wanted. Yes, I could take the territory, but I don't particularly want it. Uh, because it's their core. It's just so useful for Ventiang to have. They get 100% of the manpower. I get 0.1%. You see the difference there. Yeah, the problem is I don't want to fight in China because the uh, infrastructure is so terrible. And because they're an ally and not a puppet, there is nothing I can do about it. Because they will never build it up themselves. This is just going to be stuck at level 1 infrastructure. And I don't want my entire army to die to attrition. Release Tibet as a puppet. That could work. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to release Tibet as a puppet. That's a good point. All right, I'm going to have to go through another 25 days. Oh, well, so so it goes. I mean, if I'm doing that anyway, then... Uh, no, I'll, I'll love Tibet as a puppet. I'm still going to keep India for myself. Because I can and will puppet that if I then need the manpower later. But for now, I want the industry and I want to be able to build it up myself. Right, what to say? 1st of July, 1942, load. <laughs> and of course the game then crashes. Ah, what a way to end. What an annoying way to end. Skip report. Come on. There's only ten minutes to go. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to end things. I do love the crash screen with the dog. Yeah. If only I didn't see it quite so often. I'd be a lot happier not seeing it. <laughs> Although I'm trying to think, like, do I ever see it when um, it's just vanilla when it crashes? I don't think so. I think it must be something to do with Kaiser Riker. It just goes, nope. What's this? The International is lost already? Nope. That is a room full of magnificent mustaches. And brilliant beards. What's this? You're about to piece out the commune? Crash! No, it wasn't the commune. I mean, the, the commune's already been pieced out. The commune's lost. They lost to Germany, which is like a one in a hundred event. I can't believe the Germans won as easily as they did. I mean, yes, the Internationale lost their... F well, no, they didn't even lose their fleets. How did the Internationale lose so easily? I think it really was just Britain was like, no, I'm not going to help France, it's fine. Does Germany... No, <laughs> not in 1941. It is sometimes tougher to fight my superiors than the French. It would shame me more to surrender Tsingtao to the Japanese than Berlin to the Russians. Of course, he doesn't want to lose the Tsingtao beers. I understand that. Alright, uh, single player, load. Autosave. <laughs> we have no choice, we have to go back to the autosave now. And stop. Bong. All right, we are indeed fighting a land war in Asia. It sucks. <laughs> All right, so what did we do to finish the war so crazy quick? It was basically just push with these guys. So I'm going to stop you training. I'm going to tell you just attack. Take their stuff. 
take no prisoners, win all the things. And then once they're dead, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to take out Tibet. And off we go. Uh, actually, I want you going this way, buddy. May as well take them out, too. You can go there. Alright, nice cut off. Good. On the outskirts of Calcutta, you're taking that southern bit, and then you can get another better flanking position. You guys, frankly, can attack into there. You're attacking into there. Lovely. That was research, which was the bombers. There was something I was researching in 42. I don't remember what it was. Artillery? No. It wasn't that. Wasn't that? Might have been that. I feel like there's something I'm missing, obvious, in 42. I don't remember what it was, though. I'm going to say this. Right, that's that done. We've got outdated equipment, which was the infantry equipment, so I don't screw up this time. And then the artillery. Marvellous. Modified government. We have government tech. Which was going to be a... Medium tank manufacturer. But I don't actually want to do that right now. I'm going to save the uh, political power for when we capitulate stuff. Tunisia declared war on the French Republic. Okay, that was expected. Here's the fight for Calcutta, where apparently we have a bunch of troops moving in the wrong directions. I've seen the Ottomans beat the Axis. Not very often, but they have done it. Yeah, like you said in the uh, Somalia game. Alright, Calcutta has fallen. We're going to pass once. We're going to say Baratia is entirely mine. And uh, I'm going to say that Bhutan is entirely mine. Done. Yoink! And then you lot are going to go back to training. You and you can join them. You lot train. Fate of Bhutan. Continue occupation. Occupy them. And then up here we're going to do the same thing. So this is why I was saving my political power. Also I have no focus right now, which I should do. Aha! Oh uh, no, I was looking in the wrong place. Uh, we want the Tyrung Siamese cars. We'll do that. And then hopefully Tibet should fall now. Nope, apparently not. I'm going to... All of you should be assigned to that. You are. I'm going to take half of you. I'm going to assign you to this side. I'll just tell you all to attack. Except that a bunch of you could do with training. And you... Just come down here because attrition's not going to be an issue and you just get trained. And those of you who have trained can join these expeditions. Damn it, why can't I add you? There you go. Tibet has fallen. I'm going to pass a bunch of times. I'm going to take it all for myself. I'm just going to keep it. And there we go, that is done. So, at this point, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, then please do hit that follow button so you get notifications of when I'm live in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, 
uh, then do consider subscribing. It really does help the channel out and lets me continue doing these in the future. If you want to support the channel in another way, then check out Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. We'll go to that link. I do have a YouTube channel, which is where most of this stuff will get uploaded to. That is at youtube.com slash mordredviking. And then finally, I have a Discord channel, which is at that link, if it appears. Um where I hang out, the Mordred Viking community hangs out, uh, we talk a lot about games, if there are multiplayer games, that type of thing going on, that is where those are usually organised, and also when I have announcements like what I'm streaming, when I'm streaming, that type of thing, I tend to say them there as well. Thank you everyone for watching, uh, pretty good second birthday celebrations, Dan has just said, uh, going on here, and I will be resuming the stream in half an hour, I'm just going to go and get another refill for a drinks. Um, and I will be playing Seven Days to Die with Bussy and Patron. So if you want to join in on that, you need to be a Huskarl level or higher on Patreon. And you will be given the uh, details to join in with us. So thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys again in half an hour. If you're not watching the Seven Days game, then the next stream will be on Tuesday. I'm trying to think if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Probably not. Probably be Tuesday which will likely be RimWorld again because I missed it last week. Otherwise, seven... Well, my schedule's a little messed up because I haven't been streaming enough. I just did so. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so it will be RimWorld on Tuesday. So I will see you then on Tuesday. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.